I can't help it all. Start just like a real. Press that button and I can make one call. Shooters right on side of me, they step and knock your brother off. Stop talking for the net like you been doing shit that I never saw. And if you really love me to the end, walk in the dog with me. And I know Big Glow might even twin on, he gon' spark with me. I got myself in this affair. Ask for no handouts, but if you really care, then you got my bag. Me don't time back when I needed you. Now you come back, cousin Ray. My slime snake gon' wipe you down. He gon' clean up all the rest. This team put your mind to it. You gotta believe it. On my lap, and this shit give me time. Now you can't say I'm not a man. Away from all the fuckery, really the test he don't involve. And now I'm sitting here watching the sun come up. Think about the heart of her. Coming late with you instead of him. Some shit I never heard. I should've loved from the beginning, now my feelings hurt Start thinking about you fucking around, get mad, but I just pop a perk I stick around just to see if we gon' last, but you threw it in the dirt Stay on my back side, so get you murked, crop and put him on the shirt I that package Uzi with the verb, spin and shoot that nigga first But now I gotta keep my cool, poppin' like I was in school the Smallest nigga, but the big G body, yeah, I was that bitch Don't talk to me like I'm a fool, you gon' make me change my mood Good. It's your Ken Folk. It's your cousin. It's your homeboy, Meadowbrook, Montreal. And we back right here. Make it make sense to podcast where we try to make sense of what the hell is going on in this crazy world. And I had to come tap in with you guys. The Dallas State Fair was shot up yesterday on Saturday. That's right. The Dallas State Fair was shot up and it was reported that three people were injured. And one suspect was arrested. So before we tap into this info, I want to make sure y'all, if you are brand new to this channel, make sure you mash that subscribe button, turn that notification bell to all. That way you won't miss out on any content that I drop. And if you've been here, if you wanted to east side is right, be sure you mash that like button. That way I can get into the algorithm and also share this video to your community wall. All right, I'm trying to reach 100 subscribers, and you can help me do that by liking the video and sharing it to your community wall. All right, appreciate it. All right, now let's get into it. Now, we all know that the State Fair is located in South Dallas, all right? South Dallas or Dallas, Texas, all right? Three people were injured, and one person is in custody after a shooting at the State Fair of Texas. The shooting happened near the food court just before 8 p.m. on Saturday. And y'all, when the shots rang out, all hell broke loose, man. Y'all check this out. This is some raw footage of the shootout on yesterday, 8 p.m. around the food court, man. Y'all check this out. People running everywhere, trying to get out of the way. You see some of the law enforcement's on the car, driving through. People's looking around, trying to figure out what is going on. Some shots rang out, so of course, you know that law enforcement alerted everybody and evacuated everybody. Oh, yeah. So as you can see, man, everybody running everywhere, trying to get out the way or trying to get to safety because it was reported that shots had definitely rang out at 
the state fair man it was crazy man so let's check out the news clipping of what the police found out all right and according to the police department the police said one man shot another man three people shot with non-life-threatening injuries all right the suspect ran off but the police caught up with him and arrested him a gun was recovered from the scene as well all right on sunday morning the dallas police identified the suspect as 22 year old cameron turner again sunday morning the very next day they identified him because they did catch up with this guy they did arrest him on the scene all right he ran off but they caught up with him they got the gun from the scene and they identified him as 22 year old cameron turner and that's his picture right there in the thumbnail that i put up that's the picture of the young man that actually did the shooting which he said that he did it in self-defense that's what he said he said that's what he told the police he told the police that he actually did it in self-defense so let's take a look at what the police reported as of yesterday night this is a reporting of yesterday night let me cue it up for y'all all right here we go here we go here we go here we go man make sure y'all mash that like button uh sharing it out to your community wall and of course if you're a brand new at about 7 45 p.m the dallas police responded to an active shooter call in the tower building at the state fair of texas the preliminary investigation determined that one man shot at another man three people were shot all have non-life-threatening injuries. The suspect ran from the scene. Officers were able to locate him and took him into custody. A gun was also recovered. The individuals that have been involved in this have all been identified and the investigation is ongoing. That is currently all the information I have available to you guys. And it will be provided once we have more information. Sorry, yeah. I don't. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to. Do that. Oh. No, we do not. Okay, so she she's not bilingual. So I apologize to all my Hispanic subscribers. Power building, which Only got English. Somebody fanned out. Yes. So we're working. It's all part of the investigation on who is is who as far as the shooting occurred but it's still okay. under investigation okay. as, far as, you know, no other suspects, suspects as far as we know they're still investigating so that's currently what we have just to confirm three people were injured does that count the we have we, we, we have three people shot that's preliminary investigation as soon as more information becomes available we'll let everybody know and are guns allowed in the, in the state fair so that'll be information you'll have to get from the state fair i know they do have certain policies so I'm going to refer that question. All right. So that was the report from the police, Dallas Police Department saying that any other further information would be from the state fair class. But according to the police, they said the victims in the shooting are two adult males and one adult female. Three people shot. All right. Two adult males and one adult female. The state fair of Texas on their Twitter account, they posted about the state fair emergency order and that the fairgrounds was evacuated. So once they heard about the shooting, they made everybody evacuate. And on their Twitter account, they posted a safety alert. And it said, this is a safety fair emergency order. Dallas PD is in investigating the shooter of the state fair. The park is being evacuated. Please avoid the area. So I know it was packed. I know traffic was everywhere. I know it was chaos over there. But shortly after, the police said, one suspect was in custody, and that was the 22-year-old guy we was talking about earlier. All right, a Dallas councilman said the shooting was a spark from a conflict between two people who knew each other. Quote, I've been updated by the city manager about the shooting that occurred at the State Fair of Texas. All right, it sparked from a conflict between two people who knew each other. Three people were injured, and the shooter is in DPD custody, and that is from a Dallas councilman. Uh, Adam Buz, uh, Buzaldua, Adam Buzaldua, Dallas City Councilman right there. All right. So, so far, we know that it was a conflict. One guy said he shot and somebody he was in conflict with in self-defense. 
ended up in three people being shot with non-life-threatening injuries, two males, one female. He tried to run. Dallas PD got him. He's in custody, and they recovered a weapon. All right? And they recovered a weapon. Man, this is crazy because me and my lady was actually planning to go <laughs> to the state fair. We was actually planning to go to the state fair and you know a woman and they intuition she kept telling me she's like some telling me we all we all and not go because you never know what's going to happen now she didn't say specifically but she did say to uh you know speak to the fact that she just felt something in her spirit that something was going to go on and lo and behold lo and behold man so you know thank god for giving that intuition to to my lady and and we actually didn't pull up. We actually had a masquerade last night. We had a, a mask contest last night. We stayed at the house and kicked it. All right. And thank God, you know, that that we wasn't in harm's way or we wasn't even a part of that situation because I know it was crazy. But let's check out the full news clip that kind of sums up what happened at the State Fair of Texas on yesterday. Saturday, 8 p.m. around the food court area. And again, before we tap into this information, did you hit that subscribe button if you are new? All right. If you've been here before, did you hit that like button? All right. If you didn't, please do that for me. That'll help the channel out. And if you want to support the channel as well, mash the Cash App. Cash App is right there on the ticker, right there down at the bottom on the ticker if you want to support the channel please do so by sending a donation to the cash app and whatever you send is highly appreciated all right thank you for joining the make it make sense podcast we try to make sense of what's going on in this crazy world let's tap in to the full news clip and let's get some insight on some of the victims that was there well not the victims but some of the people that was uh you know just some of the people that was at there that heard the shooting heard the shots seen the chaos they're gonna give us some some insight on what's going on now if we get some reports from the victims yeah i'm definitely gonna come back and report that and, and show you what they said but let's tap into some of the people that was actually at the fairgrounds to give some insight on what they what they saw and what happened all right let's do it uh, hung out there for a little bit until we could get a hold of my um, parents and my other sister and know that my nieces and my dad who's in a wheelchair were, were okay and we met, went and met them. So, I mean, I feel like there wasn't a lot. Right now at 10, terror at the State Fair of Texas. Gunshots fired, sending families running for cover. We are live at Fair Park with an expected update. Police are giving us the latest information and stories from witnesses who were forced to run and hide. This is CBS News, Texas. And we thank you so very much for joining us. I'm Steve Pickett. We continue following breaking news for you from the State Fair in South Dallas. Dallas police confirming shots fired, a suspect in custody. There are victims. All of this happening just a few hours ago. We have team coverage tonight with our Olivia Leach and Nick Starling, both there in the Fair Park area. Nick, we are going to start with you because police have now updated information regarding all of this, right? That's right, Steve. And we heard from police within the just past about five minutes, and they tell us that the police got an active shooter call here at the State Fair of Texas around 745 this evening, happening inside the tower building. Now, as you know, the State Fair Tower building is where the food court is, and there's a lot of people inside. And police tell us that somebody uh, shot uh, two guys uh, one, uh, one, uh, the suspect shot at another guy, and police say that they knew each other. And in total, three people are injured with 
uh, gunshot wounds. And we're told those three victims are right now in a hospital recovering. They should be okay in stable condition. That's what we hear from police. The suspect is in custody. Now I ask police if there's more than one suspect out there because initial reports just said that uh, one suspect is caught. But uh, police do confirm just one suspect as they know right now in custody. The suspect tried to run away from police, didn't go far. Police caught that suspect. Now, we do know that the state fair is closed. After the active shooter call came in, uh, they evacuated the state fair. So nobody is here except for police. Everybody that is at the state fair is gone right now. I did speak with a woman uh, uh, just about the chaotic scene. Uh, she was actually at the rodeo. Let's hear a little bit about that sound. What was going through your mind is this is all going on. Yeah, fear, right? Irrational fear, like concerned about my friends and everything that wanted to get in contact with mom. She's an hour and a half away, right? Um, that's what was going through my mind, just really fear. <laughs> fear. Now, this is still very early in the investigation. This happened just at 745 this evening. We do know that the Safe Fair ramped up security heading into this season. They have a, a minor policy. Uh, we don't know the ages of the, the suspect or the victims at this rate, uh, but they do have a minor policy. Anyone 17 years or younger have to have uh, somebody 21 years or older to come into the state fair after 5 p.m. Uh, and they do have a new weapons detection system where you basically walk in and it's supposed to detect any kind of weapons. And they do say the suspect had a gun and came inside the state fair. So there's a lot of questions surrounding exactly how the suspect was able to bring a gun inside state fair grounds. That's a big concern from a lot of people I was speaking with because uh, the weapons detection system is supposed to detect any kind of weapons anybody is supposed to have on them. Again, that is new this year. Uh, police didn't have any uh, response to that. Again, it's still very early in investigation and State Fair is directing all questions to Dallas police at this moment. So uh, Steve, obviously a lot of questions out here on how this all unfolded, but again, the suspect is in custody and three people were shot and recovering right now. And police do tell us that those three victims should all right yeah he definitely did he he definitely had a great point and a good question how did they get the guns inside of the state fair because i've been to the state fair actually a few times over the years a lot of times and in, in every part of the entrance exits is metal detectors is law enforcement everywhere so that's a great question. How did he get a gun inside? Did he sneak in? Uh, did he work there? You know what I'm saying? That's a lot of questions to be asked on how did he actually get the firearm into there? And if he did, wow, that's something to think about. And that's 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 on the State Fair of Texas. That's, that's something that they're going to have to answer to. They need to ramp up their security. They need to make sure all bases are covered. And then law enforcement, you know, what are y'all doing? Are y'all just patrolling? Basically, that's what they're doing. I'm just going to be honest with y'all. They're just patrolling and controlling traffic. So for him to get that gun in, it speaks to the security at the state fair. But like they said, the suspect is in custody. They do have a weapon. Three people were injured with non-life-threatening in uh, injuries. All right? So we're going to move right alone all right so it was a fox for photographer there as well and joined the state fair with his family when the chaos happened and this is his quote his name is mar gustafson gustafson all right i'm sorry for messing up your name all right but fox for photographer mar gustafman he said and i quote we were at the petting zoo when it went down all right on the opposite side of the cotton bowl or the, or the food court is where the report where it was reported that it happened. All we heard was a sound that sounded like a loud stomping and people ran, he recalled. So it was somebody from Fox 4 there enjoying the state fair with their family taking pictures. And he said they heard a loud noise. Everybody started running and they got out of here. Now the state fair did come back and announce on Sunday morning that they will delay the opening until 2 p.m. So today, 2 p.m. today, they did reopen back up after they you know raised their security measures got more more uh 
more new security measures. So the state fair instituted some new security measures uh, for this year's fair. The biggest change was a new policy regarding minors. This fair is required that all visitors under the age of 18 be accompanied by a chaperone over 21 years old after 5 p.m. The fair also instituted a new security screening system. Instead of walking through metal detectors, the visitors are now screened through what they call an open gate system. All right. And this is from a state fair spokesperson, Carissa Condonius. I, I don't know why they putting all these. I'm sorry if I'm messing up y'all name, but uh, from a spokesperson, Carissa Condonius, she said, this is going to be where uh, this is going to be where you won't have to take your phone out of your pocket. You won't have to put your bag down. All right. This is going to read through all of that. So it's going to be one of those body scans, I think. I think it's going to be one of those body scans like if you were at, uh, kind of like at the airport. You know, some of those airports, they have a, a, a body scan where you can go in there, raise your arms up, and it just circle around you, and it'll definitely scan everything you have. So you next time you go to the fair, you won't have to pull your phone out. You won't have to take your belt off, put your bag down, none of that. It's going to read through all of that. This is the latest and greatest technology. When it comes to detection, we're looking for weapons. So this is going to be able to detect any of that as people walk through it. All right. The state fair, it doesn't allow gun owners license to carry to do so. So it's no guns allowed, period, on state fair grounds. All right. So this is crazy, man. Make sure y'all tap in with me. Let me know what y'all think about this. In the comments, man. This is Ken Folk. It's your cousin. It's your homeboy, Meadowbrook Montreal. And I'm out. Peace. Do it by myself. I don't need no fucking help at all. Guard you like a real. Press that button and I can make one call. Shooters right on side of me. They step and knock your bread off. Fucking for the net like you've been doing shit that I never saw. And if you really love me to the end, walk in the dog with me. And I know Big Glow might even twin on. He gon' spark with me. Brother Katie, he gon' spin a bin and walk him down. Fuck him. Feelings hurt. I think about